Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's alright this morning. It's Wednesday, May 31st. Um, I have a doctor's appointment today, just a regular. They have to see me about every two or three months. Um, so, I had blood work done that last time, so shouldn't have to have anything out of the ordinary, I don't think, uh, this time. So, should go well, I hope. Uh, currently it's 64 degrees, high today is 78, uh, chance of rain 18% today, winds are at 3 mile per hour, and today is Wednesday, so that means it's time for Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews, everyone. Yep, we've got some great stuff to try as usual. And uh, definitely check that out this evening. Sometimes it takes a while for it to come out. We we were done last time at 7. Uh, and I started it immediately, you know, uploading. And it was uh, around 11, I think, when it came out. That's just, <clears throat> I don't know why it's so slow. Uh, it is for all my videos, but that's one of the longer videos. <coughs> uh, and... I think part of the reason is is because it's, we record it in HD. I, I don't know if that should not make that much of a difference, but it's, it might. But I'd rather have it in HD and it take a little bit longer. You know, it looks better. Okay, what's for dinner tonight? Uh, I was going through the freezer and I found some ribs. Uh, bar so we're going to have barbecue ribs in the crock pot. Um... Uh, if I hopefully the slaw is still good the slaw mix I think it should be because I'm gonna fix some slaw if it is and then um, if they got big enough potatoes I'm not sure they look pretty big I think we're gonna have some baked potatoes with it so that'll be that'll be really good um, and I'll probably use that Kroger uh, private selection burnt ends barbecue sauce oh my gosh y'all that stuff is amazing. I, I, it either says charred ends or burnt ends. I can't remember what it says on the bottle. But uh, that stuff's great. Uh, okay, yeah, I got a taste test this morning. And it's uh, Quaker Chewy Dark Chocolate Chunk Bars. Let me put my, my glasses on. And I got these one, uh, these at um, grocery outlet for only a dollar thirty-nine. But you can find these most anywhere. I mean, at least the, the chewy, the Quaker chewy bars. I don't know about what flavors everybody carries, but um, I've been looking forward to this one because I like dark chocolate. And uh, you know, I tried several others. I think one was peanut butter and one was chocolate chip. I think I tried the one that had. Uh, some some reduced uh, sugar but anyway one bar is 90 calories so that's not bad uh, it's got two grams of total fat that's two percent a half a gram of saturated fat that's three percent uh, no trans fat just trace of polyunsaturated and monounsaturated they, they don't even have a, a percentage uh, no cholesterol, 80 milligrams of sodium is 4%. It's got 19 grams of carbs, 7%, so that's not too bad. Um, one gram of fiber is 4%, and it's got 7 grams of sugar and 7 grams added, 14%. That's really not bad, though. Um, one gram of protein, 6% um, of calcium, two, and 2% 2 of iron. So no artificial flavors, no added colors, no artificial preservatives, real chocolate chunks. So that sounds good. I'll tear this box. Okay. Let's see if I can get this thing back in. Some of these they make kind of difficult to put those little tabs back in and stuff. So anyway, this is what a package looks like. Nice. Let's see some chunks. Okay.
That's really good. I, I don't think I got any chocolate in that one. Let's see. Mm. I'm trying to see if there's much chocolate in it. It's really good. I think it, um, maybe it could stain a little more chocolate or I just didn't get much in those. First couple bites. The first one, I don't think I got any. Nope. The dark chocolate is really good, but I, I wish it had a little bit more. Really. Okay. Hmm. 10 grams of whole grains. Okay, honestly, I think it could use more um, chocolate pieces in it. But, you know, as far as the nutrition facts, there's nothing that's bad. I mean, 14% of sugar in something like this is really not that much. Uh, you know, it's got calcium and iron. And the rest of the numbers are low. I, I mean, I'm going to give this a... Uh, I'm going to give this like a four and a half for nutrition facts. Um... I'd say almost really a five. But, I mean, the sugar is not, it doesn't seem to be a big issue, though, on this. I'm going to go with 4.75, as close to five as I can get. How's that? <laughs> um, but I can't see much wrong with it, so. What the heck? I'm going to give it a five. I talked myself into it. It really is not, you know. Uh, you know, you wouldn't eat three or four of these, I wouldn't think, a day or anything. And for flavor, it tastes good, but I, you know, I shouldn't have got a whole bite uh, with my first bite with no chocolate. Um, maybe they're not all that way. You know, it's just the one I got. Um, and it, but it had some in it, but it's, you know, I wanted, I wanted to taste that chocolate trying to see what it shows in the it kind of shows them you know here and there in the picture that's, that's not a, a real bad representation of it I don't think but you know I, I didn't seem like I tasted as much chocolate in it um, you can see little pieces they're, they're kind of small they're not really like what I would call a chunk um, so, um, you know, as far as that, I'm going to give it a four and a half. Uh, it could use more, a little more chocolate. So, yeah, check them out, everybody. They're not, you know, they're good for you, I think, really. Uh, if you, you know, don't eat a whole lot of sugar, I guess, the rest of the day or something. Okay, um, that's the last one I got of those for now. How about some today's tidbits? I guess this means Florida's 2023 disaster preparedness sales tax holiday in full swing. I think they're supposed to be having something like that here. I don't know if it's in August or if they already started. Um, on, on groceries, I think. This week marks the start of hurricane season in Florida's 2023 disaster preparedness sales tax holiday that runs through June 9. Floridians can buy anything without paying the customary 6% sales tax 
from carbon monoxide monitors and dish detergent to generators. The state will conduct a second sales tax holiday from August 26th to September 8th. Well, that's neat. It says they can buy anything or buy anything, it says. Family warns about hot concrete after toddler suffers burns. With rising temperatures, an Arizona family cautioned fellow parents about the perils associated with hot surfaces like pavement and concrete. It comes after their 18-month-old son, Mason, endured foot burns. The pavement tends to heat rapidly, posing a heightened risk for pets and kids who are more susceptible to burns on the soles of their feet. <clears throat> yeah, you know, I never really... You know, thought about it a long time ago uh, uh, you know if, that it would hurt a dog's or a cat's feet to be on uh, you know like pavement I just I don't know why I never thought about it I, you know we didn't walk ours anywhere on pavement any cats we've had have been in, indoors cats and the dogs never left our yard you know so um, which we have a big yard for running around in but uh, but you know I heard about it several quite a few years ago and uh, something to think about I mean because they got those little pads you know on the bottom of their feet they could get burned um, put little I don't know could you put little shoes on them <laughs> like maybe that would work uh, FEMA's five-step plan for a prepared hurricane season as hurricane season arrives it's crucial to be ready here are, here are FEMA's tips one, have a communication plan with de designated meeting spots and important contacts. Two, network with neighbors to endure, ensure everyone's safety. Three, fortify your home by securing loose objects. Oh, that'd take me forever. <laughs> uh, four, ready your car with maintenance and fuel. And five, keep an emergency hurricane kit handy. Mine, I need to go over, uh, look at it and uh, replace some things in it okay let's see if we've got um some nice news i think we got enough to, yep we got enough time uh, this sounds interesting an optimistic outlook on aging could help with memory loss and yes, I have some memory loss myself sometimes. Uh, people often say to look on the bright side of things, and though the phrase might seem trite, it turns out that positive thinking is more powerful than you might think. According to a recent study from the Yale School of Public Health, an optimistic outlook on aging can help older adults with mild cognitive impairment regain normal cognition. Of those studied, positive thinkers who had adopted positive beliefs about aging from their culture were 30% more likely to recover, seeing improvement as early as two years faster than participants with negative age beliefs. Optimistic thoughts about aging reduce the stress caused by cognitive challenges, increase self-confidence about cognition, and improve cognitive performance per press release. And it has more, but it's pretty long. Okay, let's see what else I got. Well, this might be neat if they got pictures, I hope. Inside South Georgia Museum, one of the most remote museums in the world. Nestled on an island in the South Atlantic Ocean in the South Georgia is the South Georgia Museum, one of the most remote museums in the world. There are no passenger flights or ferries to or from Gritvikin, South Georgia. I think they're talking about Russia or something like that. So the majority of visitors arrive on a cruise ship or yacht. The island itself only sees about 10,000 visitors per year and there are no permanent residents. Only a group of around 20 made up of scientists, maintenance staff, and museum workers who brave the island's cold weather conditions. Traveling to the museum, which is only accessible by sea, requires advanced planning. South Georgia museum staff all travel to the island from abroad or the southern hemisphere 
spring or mid-October, and most come from the United Kingdom around 8,000 miles north. If it goes well, it's a week's commute to the UK, Sarah Lurlock, director of the South Georgia Heritage Trust, told BBC. I have been on the boat leaving the island when it suddenly went off in pursuit of a suspected poacher. I missed a family holiday because it was three weeks before I got home. Here's, uh, I guess, the employees at the museum. South Georgia Museum is located in Gritvitkin's old whaling station. Whaling or the hunting of whales for their usable natural products such as meat or oil ceased in 1964. The building that now houses the museum once served as a whaling manager's home and office and went unused for over 20 years before it opened to the public as a museum in 1992. It's now operated by the, operated by the Dundee, Scotland-based charity South Georgia Heritage Trust. It says it offers free admission, exists to protect, document, and promote the cultural and natural history and heritage of South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands. Is this another? Here's another picture of it. So that's really uh, interesting. I, I wish they had more pictures um, of it, like of the museum. Let's see, I don't think they... Nope, there's no quote today. Okay, everybody, that's it today for Morning Coffee Break. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day. And definitely check out Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews and get you some of these. But I just wish it had more chocolate in it. So... Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day, and God bless.